Vermonters are taking steps to build a better energy future today. Welcome to Bright Ideas. I'm Joel Melnick. We're here in the house that I live in in Waltham with my wife, Bonnie. We've raised three children. We've lived here for about 16 years, and I am the president of a medical device manufacturing company in Virgins. Bonnie, my wife, works at the Lincoln Community School and has worked there for 14 years, and it's just this wonderful small school. We've had our two cold climate heat pumps for about a year. We've saved $1,200 in heating costs. You know, if you're living in Vermont and you are spending money on propane especially or oil, I would recommend that you look into this. It saves a lot of money. It's a simple thing to do. So it's a wonderful way to reduce your own footprint. We heat with propane, probably using 900 to 960 gallons a year. We were really hoping to get away from you know, burning fossil fuels. So they said, have you heard of these cold climate heat pumps? They work all the way down to minus 13 degrees Fahrenheit and they're very efficient. When I met with uh, our contractor building energy and they showed me the money that it saved, this was a really easy decision to make. We felt that a good starting point for our project was to have them come and do an efficiency audit and they put the blower door on and then they used the thermal camera and there were leaks in places we didn't expect and the basement now has a couple inches of foam in the areas that were exposed. So I would certainly recommend to anybody to do this and then address the biggest issues first at their house. It makes quite a difference. The way our house is set up, we have one more or less open floor here. So this one ductless unit does the whole first floor. And then downstairs in our family room and basement, that room now that it's insulated down there better, and with the heat pump, it immediately gets very warm. The system is really good in the winter when you're cold, it provides a lot of heat, but also just by setting the thermostat to cool, it's the same system creates cold air in the summer. Well, it's uh, feeling a little warm in here, so I'm switching to air conditioner. And uh, this is my programmable thermostat. And now it just went on. It's on right now. The electricity cost for the heat pumps was probably $1,400 and we had been spending 3,000 on propane. The cold climate heat pump is estimated over the course of a winter in Vermont to be about 40% of the electricity that it would require if you just had like a, a resistance heater. It's taking the heat from the air as opposed to making heat from electricity. Electricity is a really good way to go in Vermont because we have so many sources of renewable or, or sustainable energy. So I'd say to all Vermonters, it saves money, it's very comfortable, and it's a way really to be part of the solution. Big and small, every contribution you make helps us build a better energy future in Vermont today. To learn more, go to brightervermont.org.